I think if you look at the report, uh, what it essentially says is that um, through a number of errors, both in fact and law, unlawful activity was undertaken and surveillance activity was undertaken that should not have been undertaken. Essentially, the report summarises the problem in saying that when Mr Dotcom applied first for his residency, the application was made under the old legislation and under that legislation, had he in fact come to New Zealand at that time, without changes to the other laws, in particular GCSB's law, then his activities would not have been protected. But in fact, by the time he came to New Zealand, there was a new immigration law in place and the GCSB legislation had been amended to make it quite clear that under his residence class visa, which is the application he came to New Zealand under, he should have been offered the protection of the service and therefore should not have been subject to unlawful uh, tapping of his uh, inf inf information. Uh, I think if I was to characterise it, what I would say, as Justice Naser also say, says essentially in his report, that this is really a matter of mistake uh, and human error, not one of a great conspiracy. But my own view is that the agency has let itself down very badly. It's essentially failed at the most basic of hurdles. There are a number of times where it could have um, resolved the issue. And in fact, um, New Zealanders were entitled to believe that the agency would have performed a lot better. They did get information uh, from the police when they first undertook uh, their surveillance work, but even at that level and at that early stage, if they had been more thorough in what they've done, they would have worked out that um, Mr Dotcom had a residence class visa and therefore on that basis was uh, protected by the law. They did a review of um, the, the operation that had been undertaken in February. Uh, again, I've asked the Bureau about why they failed at that point to identify the problem. I'm not entirely sure I've had a completely satisfactory answer. The legal team there have told me that they've looked at the, at the Immigration Act, in which case uh, there was a different test there. They've also looked at the old GSB, GCSB legislation, but it's quite clear and it's quite basic in the new GCSB legislation that surveillance work shouldn't have been undertaken. Do you expect people to be stood down on this? Well, I've, I've made it quite clear to the director of GCSB my level of dissatisfaction. And frankly, I'm pretty appalled by what I've seen because these are basic errors. I mean, in the end, it's, it's, uh, we can go round and round in circles, but these are basic errors. And the organisation you know, should be able to get these things right. So it's up to the director to now take whatever action he thinks is necessary and to discuss that with the State Services Commissioner. But obviously there needs to be an improvement in performance. Will you, will you, uh, 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 are you prepared to issue an apology to Mr Dotcom? Of course I apologise to Mr Dotcom. I apologise to New Zealanders because every New Zealander that sits within the category of holding a, a permanent residency or a New Zealand citizen is entitled to be protected from the law uh, when it comes to GCSB. And um, we failed to provide that appropriate protection to him. And do you take any responsibility for what's taken place as Prime Minister? Well, I'm ultimately, of course, accountable for GCSB and I walk away from my responsibilities there. Uh, but I would simply say this is an operational matter. It was at a pretty basic level. It's been the system that's been in place for a very long time. It wasn't overly complex. It didn't come about because we changed something. It's at its most basic level. And the day I found out about it was the day I issued um, a full inquiry. And I've been very upfront and honest with people about what's now gone wrong. How concerned are you that this could potentially prejudice the court action against Mr Dotcom? I don't think that would be the case um, because um, you've got to remember there are two things happening here. There is a legal case undertaken by the United States wanting to extradite Mr Dotcom. None of the material used in this uh, in terms of the unlawful behaviour by GCSB was in any way related to that.